In this video, we will show you how to install WordPress on any web hosting server. There are various hosting services available in the global market. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will be using www.000webhost.com for free hosting services. The procedure is almost the same in all services. First of all, log on to 000webhost.com and click on the Members Area option. For the purpose of this tutorial, we have already registered ourselves. If you plan to use this service, you'll need to create an account first. After the member area opens, log in with your credentials. Once you're done, a new page will open containing a list of your domains which you would have provided when filling the registration form. We named our site as Tutorials in this tutorial. It was added with a domain of hostoi.com. Now click on the Go to See panel option available here. As a result, your site's control panel will open up. On the right-hand side, your account information will be shown containing all the required details for the FTP connection setup. Now we have to upload our WordPress directory to our cPanel. In order to do that, we will require an FTP client. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will use FileZilla. Now copy the domain name of your account information, paste it into the host field in FileZilla. Do the same for the username and then enter the account password. Once you're done, click on the Quick Connect button. Next you'll be asked if you want to remember the password or not. Check the option that best meets your requirement and then hit the Enter key. As a result, a number of commands and statements will be executed automatically. Once the process is completed, you will be displayed with a status which will inform you that the directory listing was successful. This means that your FTP client has been successfully connected to your host's cPanel. Now go to the public HTML directory written over here and double click on it in order to open it. Now browse for your WordPress folder and once you've located it, right click on it and select the upload option from the drop down menu. As a result, your files will start uploading. Once the upload has been completed, open your site in a new tab. A new page will open where the WordPress directory will be present. Simply click on it. A new page will open up which you might already be familiar with. It will be the same WordPress startup page which appears at the time of installation. Click on the Create a Configuration File button and a new page will open. Over here, click on the Let's Go button. As a result, a new page will open where you will have to specify the database name and the MySQL connection details. Now go back to your cPanel, scroll down a little and click on the MySQL option under Software and Services. Over here, specify the database and the user for WordPress. Let us name our database as WP and then set any six digit name as our username. Once you're done with the details, click on the Create Database button. As a result, a new page will open up in which your database details will be shown. We will copy these details from here and paste them in the WordPress installation page. Once you're done, click on the Submit button. Next, click on the Run the Install button. In the next page, you will have to provide the title for your WordPress site. You will also set a username and password for it. Specify the same username and password which we used when configuring the database connection. In the end, specify your email address and then click on the Install WordPress button. A new page will open up informing you that the installation of the WordPress site was successful. Click on the Login button and log in with the username and password which we have just set. Once you're done, your WordPress dashboard will open up. Now hover your mouse over the site title on the admin bar and then click on the visit site option. Your site is now ready on the hosting server.